Hello guys, welcome to my video review of the Vax Dual V Advanced Reach. The reason why it's called Dual V is because it has this V at the front, which allows it to suck up the moisture out of the carpet a lot better than other leading clip carpet cleaners. A few features of this it has the Advanced Reach pipe on the back, which is better for stairs. So if you have stairs in your property, then I'd, I'd recommend getting this one. It comes with a couple of attachments, first of which is the spin scrub, which is this one here. Those spin at high speed and clean into the carpet is brilliant for carpets and car seats. And then we've got this one, which is basically just for um, like your sofas, etc. like that, um, and just has these uh, nylon bristles here. It has Three functions on the top. We've got, see if it will zoom in a little bit better there. As you can see, there's um, wash there, rinse, and max extract. Basically, with the wash, you get um, water and detergent put out onto the carpet. With the rinse, it's literally just water, so it rinses the carpet out. And then max extract, when you put it onto that in conjunction with the max extract button down here. What that does, it puts all the power into just sucking up all the moisture out of the carpet. So the brush bars on the bottom will actually stop spinning. So all the power goes straight to the suction. Um, the power button's just around there. This comes with a 10 meter long cord, which has been absolutely fantastic. The pipe at the back comes with its own detergent nozzle here and both these plug in at the front over here which I'll show you a bit later on the only problem I have found with this is that you know they could have done with putting a cap on here really because when this is full of detergent and you and you remove it you get drips um so either they need to make a cap for that or you need to take the detergent out um there is this thing here, which is um, your lock and unlock. This, if you turn it around to unlock, you can actually take the whole, basically from up here down to just there, you can take the whole handle off, so it makes it a bit easier to store. Around the front, you've got this button here, which is your unlock button for your clean water and detergent tank. Um if you read my review, my written one, you'll find that I mentioned that this is um, a dual tank, which basically means that if I just take this off, you can see at the back here, there's actually two tanks in there. That in there is actually the detergent. You just need to fill that up as much as you would need for the amount of carpet that you'd clean. Um, I'd say fill it all the way up to the top if you're doing a large area carpet. If you're just doing a few spot checks, you may only need a little bit, probably about as much as what's in there now. And then the other tank is where you'd put warm water. Don't use cold and don't use boiling. Cold won't do anything and boiling will break the machine. Um, so warm water in there will be fine. And then literally you just offer it up to the machine. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. And then click into place and that's secure in there. Down here, you've got your foot button, which basically releases the back of the machine to go into the recline mode so you can clean your carpets. This tank here is actually the, the dirty water tank. Really easy to remove and really easy to carry. The only problem I have found with this is because of the design of it and the shape, I'll just open it up here. Um, when you come to empty it, it can be a little bit messy because, as you can see, there's well, there's no pore spouts anywhere at all. So I'll show you a bit later me emptying that, and I mean you can give your own verdict, but personally, I think it could do with a spout. Anyway, let me just try and put that back up there, and then that offers up onto there. Um, wrong way around, like that. There we are. So that's that. This at the front as well. Let's just remove that again. 
this can actually be removed like so so you can actually clean that out i thought that was actually you know a brilliant idea you can't get inside because it's it is enclosed but literally simply by just running some water down there some clean water from the tap it will clean the majority of the the dirt out of there all right okay so on the front here there's a little flap you open that and that's where you'd insert the pipe and that there is where you would insert the uh, solution pipe. So, so I will show you that um, a bit later on. With the purchase of the machine, um, you do receive a small bottle of Vax Ultra Plus. Um, I don't know if you can see from the light there. I have actually quite used quite a bit. There's about just under a quarter left. Um, you can get these from Vax or from most websites like eBay, etc. Um, looking around about ten pounds for a liter and a half, which actually I don't think is too bad. Um, so yeah, um, the first thing I'll do is I'll show you how to um, how to fill this up, which is pretty much straightforward. Like I said, water in one side. Um, also, I found I don't know if you can see that with the camera. See how it's dripping. Seems to do that a lot. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure what to say about that, but yeah, it does drip everywhere. So maybe Vax could do something about that. But yeah, okay, but not a big problem. So right, we'll go and fill this up now. Okay, so just going to the bathroom to start filling this up. Like I said. This side where it says H2O on there, you've got a max level on both sides, H2O and detergent. So they'd like you to put lukewarm water in, probably just over lukewarm, you know, warm to the touch. Literally you just offer it up. Fill this surgeon bucket up. nice and warm. I might just put a bit of cold in there just to bring the temperature down a little bit. That's perfect. Right, so it's warm to the touch which helps with the cleaning of the carpet and you literally remember how twist and turn that so it locks into place. Okay, so now I'm going to put some detergent in. So you just put it in the opposite side. The good thing about this as well is when you finish, you can actually leave the detergent in place for the next time you come to use the machine. But I would recommend taking the water out. So I've used all that up now. Right, okay, so detergent one side, water the other. Offer it up to the machine once again, push it into place and you'll get the clip. Okay. Okay, so like I said, here at the back we've got the 10 meter long cord which has quick release. Just turn that and that all comes off. And that's your cord there. When I had this in the box, um, it was pretty easy to put together other than the instructions being um outdated the need to update the instructions mainly for uh this bit here and that bit there in the instruction book they look different in the instruction book the uh the two ends of the pipe are actually up up here um and obviously on this model you can see that you've got one end there and one end down there um but they are really easy to uh, connect there's a little gray um twisty uh, like knob thing there which basically you offer it up to the machine turn it and it locks it into place so i'm going to go and plug this in now and i can show you how loud it is 
So now this is plugged in. It has a 1350 watt motor, which is brilliant for getting uh, getting the moisture out of the carpet once you've done. Um, if I tilt it back a little bit, maybe I should have done this without the uh, without the water in. But if I bring it round here, you may see the spin bars at the bottom. Those spin quite fast, and the detergent and the water actually comes out. Uh, of those and gets washed into the carpets. Um, don't forget that this is a carpet cleaner, a uh, carpet cleaner washer, and not a vacuum. So you do need to vacuum your carpets beforehand. Um, so yeah, like I said, power button here. I'm not going to talk while it's on because it is quite loud, but it is a 1350 watt motor. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, so it's not too bad, but you probably won't hear me talking if I had it on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do part of this carpet. Probably can't see it that much on camera, but I mean, this carpet is old now. It's filthy, it's dirty. Um, probably can't see it much in the video, but I will try and get it the best I can. I mean, this carpet pretty much has had it now. Um, I should have done it really on a newer type carpet that had been... Uh, pre-dirtied etc but then again at least with a carpet like this you're going to see exactly what this machine can do a lot of people pre-dirty carpets and it's not really the best result because it's not ground in so here we go i did actually forget to mention that up the top here, there's a little button. I don't know if you can see that. That's the button you need to press to release the detergent onto the carpet. Okay, so you press that when you go forwards, and then when you pull the machine back, all the detergent that's in the carpet will get sucked up. That, you know, the, the Vax V, the Dual V um, trademark that they've got going on, it'll get sucked up there. Um, Hopefully you'll see that in the video. So yeah, let's try again. Okay, so as you can see from the video there, you're not going to really see it much on the video. Um, as I said, I had that on the wash function there. Um, and then obviously after that, you'd do the rinse. So all that would do is put do exactly the same thing again, but it would just put water down rather than the detergent as well. Um, you do exactly the same thing over again um, and then you do the max extract which I'll show you now um, I'm gonna do the rinse but I won't bother recording that um, but I will show you the max extract feature um, okay okay so I've just rinsed the carpet and now I'm gonna put it onto the max extract and press the max extract button that's down here 
and all that does is it stops the brush bar that's at the front spinning so it gives you the whole power of the machine purely on the suction at the front so it'll suck up all the uh, the moisture out of the carpet and try and get it as dry as possible and to be fair it does get it pretty dry but here we go <laughs> Okay, so from that video you may have just seen the last bit of moisture from the carpet going up. It wasn't as much as when you're washing it, but obviously it's just getting up the last bit that's in the carpet as much as possible. And to be fair, that is fairly dry. I mean, there is still a little bit of moisture in there, which you will expect. I mean, you're not going to get it 100% bone dry. If you're going to do a full carpet um, in, say, your living room, whatever, I would recommend leaving it for you know a good few hours before walking on it. I mean, with a bit of paper, here, I'll just down. I don't know if you can see from that. I mean, there's literally a bit of moisture on there, and that's literally what you're getting from your carpet. So there's not much, to be fair. So now I'm quite happy with that. Well, I'm going to show you now for the last of it. Um, is the pipe which is pretty much straightforward. So you've got the end here, which has the, zoom out a little bit, uh, which has the um, solution pipe on it. So we'll take that off. As I said, this is the advanced reach model. So um, this actually has a longer pipe than, um, I'm guessing there's probably a non-advanced reach model, which comes with a pipe, but probably isn't as long. This basically just means that um, if you have a house with stairs, um, this pipe, I mean, even when it's not been stretched out, it is pretty long, to be fair. Um, I've not um, tried this on the stairs yet, but I'm pretty sure from the amount of stretch that I've got on it that it will reach all the way up the stairs. So like I said, you just open this up, and the pipe... You insert it in, and then you twist it, and that locks that into place. And it's pretty much the same story with this, uh, with the solution as well. You just got to get it in right first. There's a certain way it goes in. I don't know if you can see there. See if you can zoom in a little bit there. There's like cutouts. Do you find them cutouts, which are? Uh, and then I had it the wrong way around. There, like that, so you push it in, and then I'm doing this the wrong way around, aren't I? There we are. And then you turn it around. It can be a bit fiddly, but once you've done it a few times, you will master it, and you'll be fine. So, yeah, that's in place. Um, on the pipe at the moment, we've got uh, just the standard upholstery tool, um, which you'd use for your sofas, which I have actually used on my sofa. Uh, I've got two kids, so um, yeah, they like to get the grubby hands on it. Uh, and yeah, um, underneath you've got the trigger. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I don't think it's quite doing it just yet. You might have to have the machine on, um, but when you press that, it, the solution comes down to the carpet and you can clean it. I'll show you that now, and then I'll show you the spin bar brush as well, just after. Um, the one thing I will say about this is that clip there is an absolute nightmare. Um, it doesn't always work 100% straight away. It might do it now for me on the camera. 
but it, there we are. Yeah, did it straight away for me this time around, but I was sitting here for quite a while the other day and couldn't seem to get it to go on. Um, right, so I'll put that back on now. I'm going to turn the machine on. I'm going to spray some solution onto the carpet, and I'm going to bring it back nice and slow, and hopefully you should see all the moisture go up, uh, up, up the plastic bit here. a bit of trouble trying to get the detergent to come out the end um and what i realized is that i had the setting up here still on max extract you still you have to have it on uh on the wash feature to be able to do that um i totally forgot that so yeah that was the reason why i couldn't get any of the uh solution out so i should um when i turn it back on now i should get some hopefully some detergent come out Okay, so yeah, once it was put onto the right setting, um, it will work. Hurrah. Um, so yeah, I will now show you the uh, spin bar one. Two seconds. Okay then, guys, so this is the uh, spin brush on the end here. When I turn the machine on, you will see it spin, but um, for some reason, the, the camera doesn't seem to make it look like it's going... Um, as fast, but I assure you that they do spin at a decent speed. And then once again, it, it you know the same trigger um, and um, solution dispersion here um, that goes onto the carpet. These are mainly for you know digging into the carpet. I mean, as you can see, they're spinning a little bit there. Uh, yeah, so if I turn it on, you'll see them spin. Um, that digs into the carpet quite nicely. Um, and then once again, at the end here, you've got the extraction for the uh, solution. If I remove the dirty water tank, should hopefully find that the water is nice and dirty, which there you are. That was all in the carpet and it's now not, which is a good thing. Um yeah, um I, I mean I've only done a small area of the carpet, so it's not exactly up to the max yet. But if you used to do the full carpet, you'd probably find that you'd have to empty this a couple of times. Um now that little black thing in there is actually a plunger. Once the plunger, once the water gets up to the max, the plunger rises and then cuts itself off, so it can't um, 
extract any more from the carpet and overflow basically so that's another good feature on the uh on the dual v um and now i will show you the um the emptying process of this which is it's easy but it's messy due to the you know the design of it um so yeah okay so back to the sink inside you can see all the dirty water in there uh, I'm going to try and tip it out as carefully as possible, but like I said, you know, the design of this, it, it's it's terrible really, but here we go. Uh, that there is a filter. It will be plugged up with all the, all the large particles, basically. You just need to make sure that you clean that out, maybe pet air, um, etc. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and tip this out the best I can. As you can see, it's, there's no easy way about it. But certainly at least all that dirty muck that was in the carpet is now out and is now down the sink. These are really easy to clean out to be fair. You fill it up with warm water, probably just about halfway up. Close all the lid down, lock it in place and just give it a good shake. Um, and that will get rid of all the dirt that's stuck in the corners. And then you can tip it out and just keep doing that until it's clean. Right, okay, so I've shown you pretty much all the features um, about this uh, carpet washer, emptying it, washing, filling the tubs. Um, also, that you could remove the front uh, to clean. Um, the weight of this machine can, probably is an issue for um, people, I'm guessing, that aren't as strong. Um, yeah, uh, with with the fact that you can take this off, which I'll show you now. Literally, you untwist that, and the whole of that removes, so it makes it a little bit smaller to fit under most stairs. I'd recommend this for people that have medium to large size homes. If you've only got a small home with possibly no stairs, uh, like a bungalow, etc., I wouldn't really recommend this. I'd probably go with a you know a smaller, sleeker model. Um, but then again, it, it, it's totally up to you. I mean, they do um, another one of these, which isn't the advanced reach. Um, but I don't think the weight will be much different. Um, but I suppose if you haven't got any stairs, then you haven't got to really worry about lugging it up and down stairs. Um, so, yeah, I mean, overall, I'd give it a good 9 out of 10. There's a few. There's, a, there's, a, there's room for improvement. Um, but certainly it's a it's a it's a good machine as you can see from the dirt that came out. Um, it's very easy to use, very straightforward. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.